Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Perl and HTML. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create HTML pages and CGI module. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2, Firefox web browser, Apache HTTP server, and gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of Perl programming. If not, then go through the relevant Perl spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. Perl programs which are used on the web are called Perl CGI. CGI stands for Common Gateway Interface. It is an interface to serve client server web communication. CGI.pm is a Perl module that get installed along with Perl installation which serves this communication. CGI.pm has ready to use functions to help developers to write Perl CGI applications. When a file in certain directory is requested from web browser, unlike HTTP server, Perl CGI scripts get executed and send output back to the browser to display. This function is called CGI and the programs are called CGI scripts. CGI programs can be a Perl script, shell script, C or C++ program. Now let us see a sample Perl program. Switch to the terminal. Let me open a file cgiexample.pl in gedit which I have already saved. In the cgiexample.pl file, type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let us understand the code now. Use CGA statement tells Perl that we want to use the cgi.pm module in our program. It will load the module and make a set of CGA functions available for our code. To start the HTML, we use the method start underscore HTML. My home page is the page title given for the web page. We can print any HTML tag using the CGI module. Heading tags are represented by H1, H2, etc. The end underscore HTML method returns the body and HTML tags. Now save the file. Before we try to run the script via the web server, let us try running it from the command line. Switch back to the terminal and type perl cgiexample.pl and press enter. The output looks like HTML. Next, we will test the same script via the web server. First, let us check whether the web server is working or not. Open your web browser and enter the IP address of the machine and press enter. Otherwise, you can type as localhost. If everything works fine, you will see something like this in the browser. If you get any error, then the web service is not installed or it is not in on status. Apache HTTP server is installed in my machine. If it is not installed, execute the below command on the terminal. Otherwise, please ask your system administrator for server configuration. Now, we will test the same script via the web server. For this, we need to follow certain steps. First, place our program in the cgi-bin directory where the web server will recognize it as a cgi script. The program file name must end with .pl or .cgi extension. Set permission for the file to execute on the server. Run the script. The URL for this program will be as shown in the slide. Switch to the terminal. Now, we will copy the file to the cgi-bin directory. For this, type the command sudo space cp space cgiexample.pl space slash usr slash lib slash 
cga-bin slash. Enter the password if required. Next, we need to give the web server user read and execute permission for the file. For this, type sudo space chmod space 755 space slash usr slash lib slash cga hyphen bin slash cga example dot pl. Now our file which is placed in the cga hyphen bin directory is ready to execute. Go to the web browser. Type localhost slash cga hyphen bin slash cga example dot pl and press enter. We can see the output that is executed on the web browser. Now let us see another program. This program will add fields to a form and retrieve the entered values to our web page. In the cga-bin directory created earlier, I have saved a file form.cgi. I will open this file in gedit. Now add the below lines. This program generates a feedback form. The user has to enter the first name, last name, gender and feedback details. To begin a form, we are using start underscore form method. Form field methods are very similar to the standard HTML tag methods. To create a text box in the form, text field method is used with several parameters. Here, F name, L name are the names of the text box which gets the input from the user. Radio underscore group specifies the radio button with two options, male and female. This is denoted by the parameter hyphen values. Hyphen default parameter indicates the default selection of the radio button. Popup underscore menu specifies the list box option. Submit button is used to submit the entered data to the URL provider. Clear button is used to clear the form. The display form function retrieves the values we entered in the form. Param function gives the value of the form field whose name is passed as parameter. Here, if name is the name given to the first name text box. The value is retrieved and stored in the variable $name1. Let us execute the program now. Go to the web browser. Type localhost slash cj-bin slash form.cgi and press enter. The feedback form is displayed. I will enter data in this form as shown here. Then press the submit button to see the output that is retrieved from the form. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to create HTML pages using CGI module. Assignment. In form.cgi program, Add checkbox option for languages Java, C, C++ and Perl. Add text area option to get the user feedback. Print the user entered information on the web page. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates on passing online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.